Hi there, Andrew here. I love anime, but I have no patience. So, I'm giving every new show of the summer 2017 season one episode to hook me. Welcome to Debut Review. Today, I will be watching Restaurant to Another World. Let me make that a little bit bigger. There we go. There is a certain restaurant in the first basement level of a multi-tenant building in one corner of a shopping district near the office district. Shopping street near the office district. <laughs> The historical restaurant, marked by a sign with a picture of a cat, is called Western Cuisine Nekoya. This restaurant looks completely normal through the week. But on Saturdays, it opens in secret exclusively to some very unique guests. During these hours, doors in various areas of a parallel world open to allow customers of many different races and cultures into the restaurant. And that's the entire description. So, the waiter here has horns. I think that's what she has in her hair. I think those are horns. And we've got an elf behind her. And a regular dude in the kitchen. Okay. Okay. I'm thirsty, so I went to get a drink, but my water bottle was not there. Did I leave it at work? I don't think I did, because I went shopping after work. And I remember grabbing my water bottle and going, I'm just going into the store, this can stay here. So I think it's been sitting in my car for the last three or four hours. I will have to go outside and collect it post-haste. But first, what did I think of Restaurant at the End of the Universe? What is, what is it called? Um, restaurant from Another World... Rest, uh, uh, restaurant to another world, are right. Hmm. It started kind of slow. Uh, there's this restaurant where this chef guy makes food, and the food is really tasty. So people go there and they eat the tasty food and they talk about how tasty the food is. That's the first 10 or 11 minutes of the show. It's a little dull. Then there's a giant dragon. Giant red dragon. One of the great lord dragons of which there are six. Um, she wants to go to the, uh, restaurant to another world, so she transforms into, uh, human form, puts on a dress, strolls on through the door, uh, apparently at a time when she knows other patrons will not be there because no one wants to be in the same room with the buxom dragon lady. I, I don't know. Uh, but anyway, she goes in and she orders her usual beef stew, and she eats it, and it is good. And then she takes an entire, and then she says, has a big container thing and big, big lidded pot, and says, fill her up with beef stew. And she walks out with it, uh, back to her, you know, volcano mountain top full of gold, like, like you do when you're a dragon. Turns back into her dragon form, and uses her dragon snaky tongue to lap up uh, beef stew. Because it's nice to eat while you're in dragon form, too. I guess. And she refers to the restaurant as her treasure. 
I, I guess, I'm not sure if it's a treasure because she really likes the beef stew or because the door to this restaurant to another world appears in her pile of gold, which is her treasure. So I'm not really clear if she's taken ownership of this thing because the door just happens to be there or if she just really likes the beef stew. Um, so then the chef dude uh, goes padding into his kitchen in the dark of the night or the morning or something and sees uh, the, the horned girl sleeping on his floor and the potato soup or whatever that was in the pot the last night is all gone. She ate it. Who is this girl sleeping on my floor who ate my food? Well, she is a homeless girl from one of the other worlds. And she's homeless because she's a horned girl. And horned girls are discriminated against and makes it very difficult to hold down a job. So she's homeless. So the door appeared in the abandoned building that she was sleeping in. She walked through and went, oh, hey, food. Ate it and fell asleep. Well, the guy, uh, the, the um, chef, says, well, since you're here, I'll cook you some breakfast. And says, hey, would you like a job? And she says, by gum, I would. He says, great. Take a shower and I'll get you a uniform and train you up. And I'll pay you uh, about $100 uh, for, for a 14-hour shift. Uh, he's only hiring her for the one day of the week, I guess, when the restaurant is open to uh, beings from other worlds. Uh, so the rest of the time she, I guess, sleeps in the uh, abandoned building. Uh, he didn't have to do that, so I mean, it's really nice that he's offering a job, even if it's one day a week, and uh, it's pretty much impossible to really live off of a hundred bucks a week, but... Hey, better than nothing. Uh, and to her credit, she does say, I'm still going to have to get a job in this world. Uh, so that's good. Um, but while she sleeps on her little straw bed in the abandoned building, uh, as she waits for the next week to roll around so she can go do her uh, restaurant job at the restaurant at the end of the universe. Um, restaurant to another world, rather. Um, hey, I like Hitchhiker's Guide, what can I say? Um, uh, the dragon flies over, uh, and in a scene before, she, I guess she has the all-seeing eye, and she says, something has been added to my treasure, and so she, you know, she's now flying over, and she says, don't worry, no one will harm my treasure, or damage any part of my treasure, so, uh, the big dragon now is protective of the horned girl because she's part of something that she treasures the restaurant the nightmare cafe that was a fun show and not just because it had robert england in it i never got to see episode two because i think it, it was just six episodes they'd aired all six and it was never aired again might be on dvd or something I think I, I don't know if episode two is like preempted where I was or if I was just busy that night, like I had Boy Scouts or something. I don't know. Anyway, so the show is uh, hmm, somewhat of a dull first episode, but there are enough small things that I'm kind of curious to at least tune in episode two just to see where it's going. Uh, the next time on restaurant at the end of uh, restaurant to another world, a uh, bit at the end of the show. It showed uh, like a sword fight with a goblin or something. So maybe there's some action in it. Dragons are cool. Um, so I might check out episode two just to see where the show's going. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go outside and get my water bottle out of the car because I'm rather parched. See you next time.